Let's go! That's old school Pittsburgh Steelers football. All right. You understand, when it was 50 years ago, AFC playoffs, Oakland Raiders, Pittsburgh Steelers, it was 7-6. to six. And you can't tell me you didn't feel the spirit of Franco Harris in the stadium. You didn't feel the spirit of Franco Harris coming through the television. It was 10 to 6. Pittsburgh had the same amount of points they had 50 years ago. And when Penny Kenny Pickett took the doggone snap to start the goddamn drive, driving the Steelers down the field, ultimately having the triple P, pushing P for Pittsburgh, Pick it to Pickens for Pittsburgh. Pick it to Pickens for Pittsburgh. Pick it to Pickens for Pittsburgh. Ultimately ended the game with a pick for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh was pushing P, and the spirit of Franco Harris was in the air as the Steelers win 13 to 10. Forget the playoffs. Forget waiting for the doggone playoffs. I'm stepping on bubbles right now for shipping packages. One way or another, I got something that I want to say. Because we honored Franco Harris the right way. Because in crunch time, we showcased our ability to be clutch. We don't drive automatic. We've got the clutch in the car like Franco Harris did his entire career. We went out there and we honored that man in front of his family, in front of the 70s Steelers, the dynasty, the greatest dynasty in NFL history. Sorry, New England Patriots. We got something to say in our, in our 1970 Steelers. Understand we took care of business on Saturday Night Football on Christmas Eve. Everybody is getting ready for Christmas in mere minutes. And guess what their last thought is? The Pittsburgh Steelers taking care of business and getting the W. Najee Harris showed up and showed out. Deontay Johnson moved chains when we needed him to. Pat Fryer move took care of business when we needed him to. George Pickens clutch when we needed him. The defense did exactly what they needed to do. And Kenny Pickett, in a moment when you needed a man to step up, the rookie stepped in and stepped up. Chris Boswell, hey, listen. It's bad conditions out there. Mistakes happen. You missed a couple of kicks, but when we needed a field goal, we needed an extra point at the end of the game. You put it through the uprights and it was good. All forgiven. One way or another, we honored Franco Harris the right way. In the clutch. And I promise you, 32 is staring down, smiling on our performance here tonight. He may not have been there in person, but he was there in spirit. Because the way the Pittsburgh Steelers play today, that's the kind of football team I'll cheer for every single week. One way or another, come hell, come high water, we cheer for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And when you play like that, that's winning football right there. So, once more, take your terrible towels. Not for the Steelers, for Franco. One last time. Steelers on three. Win on six. One, two, three, Steelers. Four, five, six, win. For Franco, baby, let's go. Playoff hopes still alive. It may look bleak, but damn it, we honored 32 here tonight on the anniversary of the Immaculate Reception because we were pushing P because we had picking to pickings for Pittsburgh. Pick it 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 to pickings for Pittsburgh to win the game, baby. I ordered my 32 jersey at the end of the goddamn game. I hope you order your 32 jersey as well if you ain't already have it. Rest in peace, Franco Harris. We honored you the right way. We got the W in prime time. And forever, when you look back on the Immaculate Reception, the greatest play in NFL history, your legacy will live on forever, brother. Rest in peace. Steelers win.